Tyler the Creator likes men. What a headline, eh? Now that I got your attention, I'm here to tell you that today we're not actually going to be focusing on his sexual orientation, uh, mostly, but we're actually going to talk about Tyler Creator's new album. It's called Scumfuck Flower Boy. You heard right. I promise you, we are going to mainly talk about the music, but we I feel like we do have to dive in into this topic because in the last week or so, this album has leaked and people have just been hunting down for evidence that this is in fact Tyler the Creator coming out and some of these journalists are uh, you know claiming that he's been hinting this all along in his music which I just find silly because Tyler the Creator is the biggest troll in hip-hop today people are like oh he's weird he's hard to figure out well if you can't tell when Tyler's being serious or he's not which you know 95% of the time you know he's being sarcastic or he's just saying things that'll trigger people just whatever he whatever he wants and although in scumfuck flower boy though these speculations has become more intense and obvious I mean straight up lines like I've been kissing white boys since 2004 quote on the hard-hitting track I ain't got time and then lyrics on uh, garden shed where he may seem like he's talking about when he's younger and he was you know he was lost and he was going through this what he thought was just a phase kind of like Frank which people speculate that he means you know the odd future friend and uh, collaborator Frank Ocean who came out a few years back and then there's those casuals that are like oh why does it matter whether he's gay or not just listen to the music well pff. What you don't get is this is Tyler the fucking creator, man. Like, this is the same guy who overuses homophobic slurs in the past. Sometimes he uses these slurs on himself, you know, makes jokes about himself being gay and claiming that he's got a thing for freckled white boys. And if he really is coming out, then perhaps all of that was just to distract us from the fact that he actually was. At the same time, there's a lot of interviews where he denies homophobia. Uh, he's clearly supportive of his friend Frank Ocean, and he goes out of his way to even defend the LGBT community at times. Let me make this absolutely clear. Him being gay does not make me want to rock with him more or less whatsoever hell no um i'm just explaining to you to why this is somewhat of a factor because it changes the whole dynamic um of his content and his whole persona some of the things he said in his past songs would make me want to just go back and be curious as to what he really meant by them and this could be a positive thing because if he is being a hundred percent truthful about coming out then we get we at least get a realer Tyler. It's 2017. People are more accepting, and this should not change uh, his credibility in, as a musician in any way. Um, you also gotta admit though that these topics, especially for a celebrity, um, could serve as good promo. And knowing Tyler, he sure knows how to leech onto these. And um, you know, if this was all some ploy to just be trendy, and then Tyler goes around and goes, "Sight no homo, ha ha ha." Uh, but God, I can imagine if people get pissed. I mean, I'll probably get pissed. I'll still be a fan. I just, you know, wouldn't be rocking shirts like these in public. Enough about all that. Let's actually talk about the music. 911, call me, cause you gotta send some fire trucks. This is fire. I don't really know if that made sense because that wasn't pre-med, no. There is big production, a lot of melody, ambiance. It's not as gritty as an angsty as Goblin, and it's not as hyper as Cherry Bomb, but more like his second album, Wolf, which is my personal favorite. And yes, the production is masterful. I'm gonna have to say, Flower Boy is his most polished, well varied um, set of songs in his catalog to date. In some of his old work, the beat can kind of sound skeletal. Um, on Flower Boy though, they feel complete and Tyler's beats has always been on the progressive side and like I mentioned, not exactly as loud and upbeat as Cherry Bomb except some songs like the single Who Dat Boy featuring ASAP Rocky which I was mad hype about, total banger and reminiscent of his heavier singles in the past. There are a lot of beat change ups, distortions, um, simple yet effective synths and tracks can often be spacey with you know heavy drums dropping in the middle where uh, Tyler drops his rap verses. It's not as electric electronically influenced as Cherry Bomb, you know, less Pharrell in the mix, but, um, you know, each instrument is so effectively used, like the guitar work, there's the smooth guitar work on um, Garden Shed and Boredom. There are also a lot of features. Now, I'm not usually down with, you know, solo rappers having too much features in an album because I feel like, you know, it doesn't really showcase them as an artist, but in Flower Boy, I felt like every guest spot 
It just felt right and meaningful. Part of it is because Tyler doesn't use the three verse and chorus formula. So when these guest vocals come in, um, especially the singing, it's kind of like an unexpected beauty. They're in total contrast with Tyler's, you know, uh, deep and charismatic rhyming and, uh, you know, and the harmonies that divide Tyler's signature from one verse to the next just works extremely well. This is why Frank Ocean and Tyler, the creator collabs are like classics. And this is no different here, like in the tracks uh, where this flower blooms in 911, Mr. Lonely. Another example example is when uh, Kali starts singing on See You Again, I, I, I just like got up and lost it. I mean the transition to the singing and rapping just seems so seamless and fitting. Right before going into this disgusting bass line and Tyler just goes in, um, it's right when you think you got the groove of the song, that's when these features come in and just hit you on another level and uh, causes the climax instead of just, you know, being thrown, a feature being thrown just to, you know, change up the dynamics of a song. The rap features are just as strong. I mean, Lil Wayne on Dropping Seeds, um, you know, having his bars and punch style to that beat, it was just so fitting. It, it was a Lil Wayne song. Another surprise performance even though it's just a couple lines was uh, Jaden Smith on the song potholes I mean this is a song you can ride to beat wise and the theme of it just being you know driving as a metaphor into life and uh, potholes be being the obstacles the outro and enjoy right now today um, feels very fitting it's like the sound you'll hear when the credits are rolling after a good movie and um, you know it's basically instrumentals with miscellaneous vocals here and there um, it just showcases Tyler's terrific producing and it has a positive vibrant sound that just makes me feel good about everything I just heard and you know it, it also wraps back very well to track one lyrically you gotta give Tyler his props for progressing so much I mean he's made a career out of just saying things that are off the, over the top um, I compare a lot of his older music like Goblin to Eminem Slim Shady LP his records were definitely that you know they're entertaining as long as you don't take it seriously and back then the topics were so focused on like I'm a rebel we gonna raise hell Oh, kill people, burn shit, fuck school. Flower Boy, though, I would compare it to Eminem's Eminem show. I mean, it's him expanding on topics like his love life by way of whatever he means. Fame, friendship, uh, a lot of reflection of the past, as well as being concerned for the future. He also doesn't over-explain things like some rappers do. That just I, I hate listening to that because it makes me feel uneducated. He doesn't bank on his audience to know his entire life story to get into this. I mean, I found out my main issue with the latest Jay-Z album is that you really gotta know the artist's life to enjoy it. Flower Boy is just as welcoming to casual fans and just new listeners trying to see what Tyler the Creator is about. He's definitely grown a lot in the lyricism category in Flower Boy. You know, he's not afraid to be vulnerable, explore ideas such as sexuality, uh, his motivation, and even suicide like in the opening track forward. See You Again has him talking about his ideal lover while the song November has him speaking about his insecurities. And personally, another reason why I was digging Flower Boy is because it, we're, this one remains remains entirely personal on Tyler's life. I mean, there's not a word about Trump or any Lives Matter campaign, which to me is just refreshing at this time. Whether Tyler the Creator is actually gay or he's just trolling us, um, the fact is this is his strongest album to date, lyrically and sonically. While we still don't have a clear answer about his sexuality, this is still the most authentic Tyler has been. And the production itself will just keep making you come back for more. This is such a summer album that you can easily vibe to and just, you know, lay outside and, you know, stargaze and think about life. It's relatable, accessible, all this while Tyler's not losing any of his creative edge. And all the vocal guests are all headed out of the park. You must listen to Flower Boy. This is my favorite record of 2017 so far. I would like to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Odd Future Wolf Gang. Anyways, that's my review of Flower Boy. What did you guys think? Whether you liked the album or you didn't, what do you agree and disagree on with me? Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you thought that was a well-made review. Uh, make sure you leave some comments on the board. And like always, don't forget to sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love I'm getting in some of these reviews. You know, we're still working at it every day, trying to better my writing and presentation. So if you have another album that you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna try to check that out. And if you didn't already know, I also am a rapper. I create my own original original music you know the links will be somewhere in the description i'm on spotify itunes all that as twizzy ramos we'll see you guys on the next one stay sick